suicide is a very complex issue. And if there was one factor that contributed to the increasing suicide rates we've seen over the last few years in the military, uh, we would have been able to address this already. But suicide is very complicated. It's a difficult issue to understand. And there's many factors that influence suicide rates. And so I think it's really important for us to look at how do we encourage prevention by looking at how do we support help seeking, how do we encourage destigmatization of mental health treatment so that people who are struggling and in trouble can get help and can get back to their unit and back into fighting form and be there to be a, a healthy contributing part of the military. And the military is like every other large organization. It's a large institution. It's a large culture. And it takes a long time for a culture to shift and to change. And so we're hopeful that what this means is that there is more of a culture of help seeking and support for mental health. I think we need a little more time to look at the numbers um, over time. Um, we certainly also watch those numbers very carefully at TAPS and look at our own intake numbers as well. And you know, for us, what we're seeing is increasing numbers of families coming to TAPS, grieving a death by suicide, looking for care and support.